What's going on guys? It's Dave again. We are back today at my house in my office and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of doing an actual build, I'm actually going to be wall mounting all my monitors. I've got three Dell 24 inch screens behind me and then one right over my shoulder here is a brand new LG 27 GN 950-B that I got last Sunday. And I love the screen, it's absolutely awesome to play games in 4K 144Hz and it's great for doing my video editing. But my stand that it's on now technically doesn't fit 27 inch screens which is why the two Dells are turned vertical. And I have another one on order because I love the screen so much. It's not supposed to ship until November, but I want to get a head start on it while I can now. So I got five Vivo wall mounts from Amazon, I think they're about 40 bucks a pop. Um, the fifth screen I'm actually going to be mounting is this Asus screen up here to my left, which is a workstation monitor that I use if I'm working on somebody else's computer or if I'm working on my dad's gaming computer. And I just really need the desk space back as well as the shelf space back for that one up there. So that's why I'm doing all this. But before we get into it, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And with that said, let's build. Diving in head first, I removed all the monitors from the stand and then took the Vivo triple monitor stand off my desk to expose the ridiculous fire hazard of spaghetti wires that desperately needed some attention. I tried mounting one of the monitor arms myself, only to struggle holding it to the wall and trying to drill at the same time. Eventually, my buddy Matt came over and helped me get the first arm mounted. Some of you might remember Matt. I did the Thermaltake Versa H18 build for him, and then only a short time after, I converted his build to an AIO liquid cooler. I'll link those videos in the description below if you haven't seen them already. Since we finally got the first arm attached to the wall, it was time to get my ASUS workstation monitor attached to it. We did get it attached, but it lasted about 3 minutes until I realized that my dumbass somehow mounted the arm to the wall upside down. So we took the monitor off, took the arm off the wall, and then mounted the arm at a lower point, which actually worked out better anyway, since now it was right side up. Once we got the monitor back on, I couldn't get any luckier because when I opened the door, there was probably only a couple millimeters of gap between the door and the monitor when the door is fully open. Now that Matt and I know how to properly attach the arm to the wall, getting the second one drilled in was pretty easy. The only part that was a little difficult was that Matt has to hold the arm down to counter the resistance while I was holding the screen and getting it screwed onto the arm. And it was only really difficult since we were right up against the wall. Getting the next arm on was a little bit trickier, but we did manage to get it on. As you can see at full extension the arm was hitting the shelf above and that made it so that Matt had to hold the screen and put resistance against the arm at the same time just so that I could get it screwed on. But once I got it screwed on and started repositioning it, it really started to come together with how I envisioned it, and I'm really excited with how the rest of it turned out. Getting this last Dell mounted was probably the easiest one we had done the whole day, but once we got it mounted and I saw how it looked with the setup, I knew in the back of my mind, this probably wasn't going to last that long. So finally, Matt and I are down to the last monitor arm, and it was of course the most awkward. I didn't move my gaming computer, and I also didn't move the UPS battery backup, and this made it awkward to hold the arm against the wall, keep it level, and drill at the same time. And of course, as soon as we get it mounted, we realized that the arm was mounted too low. So we took it back off, repositioned it a few inches higher, and then remounted it. Even though there is quite a visible hole from the bottom screw where we tried to mount it the first time, I really don't care enough to deal with it since it's behind the screens where I won't see it anyway. Matt brought my new LG monitor in and we got it mounted to the arm mount, and at last, we were done mounting everything. So at this point, I am sitting there with Matt discussing how awesome this setup looks and how thankful I am that he came over to help me out with setting this all up. And I really like how it turned out. But I only liked it. 
I didn't love it. Two weeks later. Well, after a couple of weeks, I finally got the second LG panel I was looking for. They were pretty much impossible to find. Shout out to Micro Center near me. They actually had 10 in stock miraculously. Uh, pretty sure they're all sold out now. But I got everything mounted and I'm absolutely in love with these monitors. They are probably the best monitors I've ever owned and or worked with. Uh, I can't wait to use it for my day job. I can't use it to do video editing on. Gaming is absolutely fantastic. I'm kind of on a Rainbow Six Siege kick right now. And after a little bit of tweaking with the anti-aliasing, I can play the game at 4K, 144 frames or higher with my 8700K and my 2080 Ti. So I believe the only thing I did for anti-aliasing is turn it down to TAA, just to keep those frames a little higher than they should, um, at least a little higher than I would like. So aside from that, I'm not somebody who has 12 games in their computer and plays them all every day. Um, the one thing I will say with these monitors is the default backlight RGB colors are red, purple, blue, and white. Uh, you can get the LG software from their website to change those options. That's up to you. I did find out though that if you run more than one of these monitors, the software doesn't have support for it. So that kind of sucks, but is what it is. So LG, please fix that if you could please so that I can change it on mine. Um, you, you do also have RGB, just rainbow if you want. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. For me, I find the white the least distracting, so I'm, I'll probably use that for now. But yeah, if, if you guys haven't gamed on a 4K monitor before, do it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't really think I have any other complaints. It's just absolutely amazing compared to my old Asus 1080p panel. So the Vivo arms that I used, I should say that uh, in order to get those to support the weight of the monitor, I have to turn those almost to the max in order to support the weight. Um, I know the screens are 12.6 pounds and the Vivo arms, I believe, support 14.3 pounds. So just be aware of that if you plan on using these in the future. But otherwise, I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic with how it turned out. So hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. I appreciate it very much. I'll see you in the next one.